We had, I mean, we had to go to training, Joe, to learn how, again. How to accept that you're being cheated. A senior in college. Yeah. 21 years old. Yeah. Um, they brought in an outside professional. Again, air quotes, because what in the world? How can you be an outside professional um, who sat us down and taught us how to use she, her pronouns? <laughs> again, a senior in college. I'm like, am I really? Taught a- you how. You. An actual she, her. An actual she, her. How do you use she, her pronouns? We had to go through these interview questions. Uh, they'd throw a question at us. If we didn't answer their fake interview question to their standard, we had to go through it again. Oh, my God. Yeah. Indoctrination. Thomas's teammates, right? 16 of these girls, plus their parents at the beginning of the season, signed on to a letter expressing their discomfort in the locker room. Um, I kid you not. The university responded back with, and I have a screenshot of their response. If you, as women, feel uncomfortable seeing male genitalia, here are some counseling resources that you should seek in an attempt to re-educate yourselves. Re-educate yourself that that's a a sheenus. That's not a penis. That's a sheenus. Queenus penis. (laughs) So does Leah Thompson have sex with girls? What? Leah Thomas, rather. Yeah. At the time... Again, this is what I know based off of what his teammates have told me and what really has been public knowledge based off what they post and different things. Uh, At the time of that national championships, he was still dating women and active with women. Sexually. So obviously has testosterone. Yes. But now, um, again, based off of social media, um, he is engaged to another man who claims to be a woman. So two men, but they call themselves lesbians. Um, so who knows? But, but yes. At, but at the time. So yeah. you're a, if you're on that team, you're a woman and you have a biological male who's intact, who's having sex with women, walking around naked in the locker room with women. And if you're uncomfortable with that, you should educate yourself. You and said learn it. how to use she, her pronouns and accept defeat. You said it. To this person that's not a woman. You said it. And the whole idea behind Title IX was supposed to be to protect women's sports. It's supposed to be to have a place where women can compete fairly against women. Yeah. And because of this insane cult that 45% of the country's in or whatever it is, you have to deal with this literal mental patient in a woman's sport dominating and everyone's cheering. Yes. And and, it, and everyone around it that's watching it is upset. All the parents, probably on both teams. Of course. All the women that are competing with this man and the whole world's like, yay, diversity. And yeah. you must feel like you're in a fucking movie or something. Well, I'll tell you, um, Really what had thrusted me over the edge into no longer being willing to lie, ultimately, is he and I raced in the 200 freestyle. This is the day after he swam the 500 freestyle and won a national title, uh, beat out Olympians, beat out American record holders, right? Keep in mind, these aren't scrubs. They're the most impressive and accomplished female swimmers this world has ever seen. And again, he beat them all by body links. Um One second might not sound like a lot of time, but in the sport of swimming, again, measured down to the hundredth of a second, one second is significant. Uh, He beat the entire nation by almost, the entire nation of women by almost two full seconds. Even the time he went last year would have beat every girl in the country this past season by nearly two full seconds. Um, Making him the first man to win a Division I NCAA women's title, trailblazer. Um... But the second day of competition, the day after this, he and I race in the 200 freestyle. Uh, So, look, we get on the blocks, dive off, swim eight laps of freestyle, touch the wall at the end. I look up at the scoreboard, and almost impossibly enough, Joe, we had gone the exact same time. Meaning, of course, we had tied, uh, which... Is incredibly one. It's incredibly embarrassing for a six foot four man to not even be able to beat like a five five uh, <laughs> female. Um, but again, going a, a minute and forty ish seconds, and not even one one hundredth separated us. 
you can't tell me that's not divine intervention. Um, but tide, we get out of the water. Uh, we go, yeah, you can see here, we both went 143.40. Not one of us going 143.39 or 143.41 tying. Uh, get out of the water, go behind the awards podium. The NCAA official looks at both Thomas and myself. Thomas, who is towering over me, right, six foot four. And this official looks at both of us and says, great job, you two. Uh, but you tied. And we only have one trophy, so we're going to give the trophy to Leah. Sorry, Riley, you don't get one. My Jesus Christ. heart rate was still high, having just competed. My adrenaline was still pumping. Um, and so the first thing that I thought ended up being the first thing that I said, and the first thought that I had was just what you had just said, right? Like, isn't this everything that Title IX was passed to prevent from happening? What do you mean you're going to give the trophy to the man in the women's 200 freestyle? Um, I asked the question that no one dared ask all season. And I said, why? Which, of course, uh, he didn't have an answer as to why. They didn't give him a script of what to say when someone asked you the dreaded question of why. And so his first, his first excuse he came up with, uh, he he's stumbling on his words and he's uh uh well uh we're actually just doing this in chronological order he said and so i said okay do you mean alphabetical because g comes before t otherwise i literally have no idea what you're being chronological about right we tied so again what's your rationale here uh and finally he realized that he didn't have a justification he didn't have an answer for this and so and I actually appreciate his honesty. Uh, this is when his face changed. He looked sad. His voice changed. I could tell he didn't even believe what he was about to say. Um, but this official looked at me and said, Riley, I am so sorry, uh, but we have been advised as an organization that when photos are being taken, it's crucial that the trophy is in Leah's hands. Again, you can pose with this one, uh, but you have to give yours back. Leah takes the trophy home. You go home empty-handed, end of story. We can eventually mail you one, Oh my God. is what they said.